All right, guys, just received something awesome in the mail. Speaking of Legaya and upping her diet, improving her quality of life by adding the full spectrum lighting, um, giving her more toys in her cage, offering chamomile to her by way of her spray that I missed her with every day, got a gift from an awesome place called Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique. Now, you guys know them because they were the ones who sent us these awesome avian teas, which of course, as you know, I've been using with Legaya for two years now or a year or so, putting some of it in her chop and also giving her tea. But look guys, they sent a book. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to read this. Oh wow, perfect. A parrot's healthy meal planner. Oh my gosh, wow. Healthy meal planner, suitable for all beaks. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna love going through this. Okay. Oh, so beautiful. This is the author, Carmen. Carmen, thank you for sending this to me. This is great. Oh, and look at the beautiful, beautiful photos that accompany every page. Oh, this is gonna be good reading. Feeding the fussy eater, reduce the volume of food. Oh, there's an African gray. How neat. Chop, it talks about chop. Awesome, that's what I'm doing. Offer new food first thing in the morning. Oh, and it's good. Benefits of herbal tea. Why I chose tea for my birds. Oh, there's a lot of great reading here. Organic apple cider vinegar. Wow, myths about sprouts. Oh great, I'm sprouting my stuff. I can't wait to read this. Prep before making meals, so neat. And it's got nutritional info on different nuts and seeds and grains. Oh, here it is. Recipes, guys. <gasps> Your parrot's weekly meal recipes. Oh, how awesome. Breakfast, dinner, afternoon snack. Oh, wow, sweet. Breakfast, oh, and it's got a whole bunch of neat recipes. See that? Look at this, Polly's muesli bowl. <gasps> parrots can have muesli? Okay, this stuff looks delicious for human people. Rio mash, oh, wow, look at that. Stuffed foraging apple. RJ apple, we should try this. Oh, this is so neat, thank you for this. I love reading about my pet nutrition like nutrition in particular fascinates me like giving them the best diet like I love that OMG like the sections are blowing my mind one thing I wanted to share with you guys is this section here on the dirty dozen do you guys know what the dirty dozen is I didn't until I read this so the dirty dozen is basically the top 12 fruits and vegetables that are known for being the most likely to be covered in pesticide residue Wow she goes on to explain that that washing these top 12 fruits and vegetables won't get rid of the pesticide residue. You need to soak it in a solution of water and one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar or vinegar uh, for 10 minutes, then rinse. That is the best way to get rid of the pesticide. And here are the top 10 vegetables and fruits that have pesticide residue. These foods I do feed to the Gaia. So now we know we gotta soak them in a vinegar solution for 10 minutes so we can properly Properly rinse these pesticides off now mind you here in the Philippines a lot of the produce Especially the ones we buy from the Palenque is organic. So that's a good thing But like things like apples which come from abroad. Wow. Okay. Now we know soak in apple cider vinegar cool, right? I love this book by the way if you guys have birds feel free to pick up this book from Polly's natural parrot boutique not sure if she ships out of the UK But it's worth looking up a lot of great info here. Oh, and there's a note from Carmen and the author to Ligaya from Polly. Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much, Carmen, for this awesome, awesome book. I can't wait to read more about Ligaya's nutrition or how I can improve on the diet that I'm already giving Ligaya. Yes.